Okay, so as I was saying, so iframe is a separate technology that you use in your web page that displays some independent content and those contents can come can can may come from the same page or from different website. So that time if you need to do any testing perform inside your iframe, first of all, you have to tell your driver to switch or move from the parent website from regular HTML page to iframe. So it, it, it have to tell first that okay, there is an iframe, there is a frame, you move there and then you know you can regular uh, you know as it is our regular way you can spy the content and you put the second line to you know is uh, uh, put the locator of that content and do whatever you want to do so again we're going to use over here switch method you see this is the use case of the switch method we we uh, just the last uh, you know topics we saw using the switch method switch to method we we can do some testing on on alert box so again similarly we can use the switch to method to you know to do some testing activities in frame so switch to dot frame now here the technique is that you may have a one frame in your page in your application you may have a multiple page multiple frame so that can be uh, that can happen in you know, one side you will probably see there is a lot of you know multiple uh, frame so if is the situation how your driver is going to know you know which frame you are talking about which frame you are asking to to switch so that time when you select when you write your code driver dot switch to dot frame inside the frame bracket the frame method you have to pass the frame number okay you will tell the frame number and frame number is starting follow the indexing number like starting from the zero it means if you have a one frame your frame number would be zero you will pass the zero if you have a two frame you will pass the number one because it started with the zero number okay so as per your number your driver will understand exactly what frame you are asking to move you are asking to go okay so and sometimes it's not easy i mean over here it's i put some it's very obvious mark that it shows a separate box sometimes you probably you will not see that kind of box then it's not easy right away to understand this is a frame how you can understand then number first question how you can understand that is it a frame or not number two how many frame you have in your page how you can understand to do this if you right click say this is we know this is our frame assume that you don't know and you you know you want to you know select one of the button like uh, contact button you find the x path and you you write the code and it didn't work it didn't find that element so if it doesn't find the element so if you what happened if you click on there if i go to this element the contract right you can see this is the html code related this contact uh, button but if you go a little bit up you know you will see somewhere hmm, something went wrong try again in a few seconds um so you will see you you'll see you know uh say example over here if i go there you will see you know when if you have a, any frame in your page you know you 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 will have a tag name that's a universal you know universal tag name it's called you can see over here it's called iframe so no matter how many frame you have each and every frame the html code at the beginning will start with the iframe tag name okay so you know you can you can find the how many iframe uh, this tag you have in your page so it will there is a size method size method can help you to find something you know the num the, the uh, something is like multiple elements with the same tag name so if you if if you have a more than like you have a three example you have a three frame in this page so if you say driver dot find element by tag name and what's the tag name you pass the tag name it's iframe the, the value of the tag name is iframe 
and dot size method so then size method will find out how many iframe you have in your page so it's easily if it's not even obvious you know whatever the element you are going to find you know close to that you can easily find there is a iframe and then if you know if you see the iframe so you can easily find out you how many iframe or frame you have in your page using the size method and the common uh, you know tag name which is iframe so after you know the how many frame you have then you can easily you know pass the number okay which one you want to go the first one the second one so if it's the first one or just the only one you have you will pass the number of iframe is zero the eventually the same you know as per you know you want to go okay so let's see the code now in the example with the code uh, here how to handle so this is that's why the video is called how to handle frame in selenium jQuery side so if you see here uh, you can see this is a frame we'll see how we'll find out uh, how we know this is a frame but just for now you know I can say this is a frame you can see it's a separate uh, you know the, the box and inside there is a uh, two e element so how can we handle frame first We'll count how many frames we have in our page by using size method. So size method, okay? And uh, then, so first we have to look at the frame. How are we gonna look look at the frame if we have more than one frame? Here is the thing. Uh, doesn't matter how many frame you have in your page. All of the frame frame started with the tag name. It's called iframe. This is a very universal tag. So in, this is a, always for all of the frames started to tag name with iframe. Example, let's uh, select this, uh, you know, uh, this frame. We'll, we'll see today if there is frame or not. So let's right click inspect it. And then we can move it here. And we can see. So this is okay. So let's spy. So this is the frame. We can see. If you see here, okay. Here, this is the code. Okay, it's a reflect the frame. It's a, uh, you know, it's save. Uh, it's a show display the frame, highlight the frame. You can see it started iframe. So iframe is the tag name. So if you have a more than uh, one iframe, it doesn't matter how many, all of the frame uh, will start with the tag name. It's iframe. So we can easily locate use the tag name iframe. Then we can uh, use the size method like this. We'll use driver dot find element since it's a we, you know we're assuming it may have more than one or one so we will use ele find elements and then we'll say by tag name and it's a tag what is tag name is iframe then we'll use size method so it will return us total how many frame we do have and after that we have to switch our driver from our regular HTML page to frame because you know uh, the, the driver cannot read the frame you know uh, cannot go to the frame just like a HTML page 
So we have to say our driver, hey driver, switch from HTML page to frame. So we'll say driver dot switch to method, then frame, we have to tell the frame number. This is an index number. So, so index number is started by zero, which means it's a first frame. If you have more than one frame, we'll use the number as per the index. Okay, if it's a first in the first frame, we'll use the zero. If you have a second frame, if you want to move to the second frame, we'll use the frame uh, number one. So that's the way we'll count following the indexing. So let's do an example. So this will be our, our page. And after we land this page, we'll uh, in a future driver to this frame. And then, so we'll get the size and then we'll pass that frame number since so far it's just a one frame so the, our frame number would be zero which is a one frame and then we'll drag we'll uh, drag this element and then we'll drop it here so it means we need to spy this this element and this element so when you do the drag and drop we'll use a drag and drop you know keyboard uh, the mouse uh, even this is a mouse event so drag and drop in element so we have a method it's called drag and drop. So we'll use that a uh, drag and drop method from the classes, uh, from the action classes, from the actions class. So remember, uh, in our last class, when you when you learn uh, how we can perform some keyboard and mice activities, and we said to do this, you know, so we have we have to use actions class, and in actions class, there's a lots of method. Like one of the method, like was a move to element. Remember, uh, say so if you see our notes, uh, I explained that a little bit down here. I show, sh I, th I think I mentioned to you there's a lots of method uh, in actions class that help you to do some of the keyboard and mouse event. Uh, where is this? Here. Remember, so handling keyboard and mouse even that we have to use actions class. So we have to create an uh, uh, create an uh, object of the actions class first, and after that we can use use the object reference, uh, and then we can call any one of the method as far we need, like click and hold, right? A contents a context click, which is a right click. Double click is a double click. You can see there is another method is called drag and drop. So we can use the drag and drop it means you have a source you have an element in some place and that element you have to move from one source to another place target it means just uh, uh, where you want to move so you have to pass the two argument over here when you call the drag and drop you have to say the source and target source would be where the element so you have some element somewhere so you're gonna right click you will say the where this element you have to pass the locator for that element as a source and then target it where you want to move from here to here so where you want to move you have to give that address or located to as a target and then it will be automatically moved there okay so this is the use case another use case of uh, you know the mouse activities but the we're going to use on that uh, drag and uh, on this you know frame inside the uh, uh, one of the activities just to confirm say assume that this is your frame and and this is the tax you have to do as a uh, your automation perform okay so we'll use that one we'll see this let's do this so first we'll okay i let's uh spy it good let's code it so here i created uh i uh, sorry here i created uh, uh, one class it's called the frame example okay and this is uh, the setup as it is like web driver from a uh, 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 web driver key and this is the path of the web driver and uh, uh, you know this is uh, just uh, uh, the pre uh, regular things we do set up as a web driver it's our uh, interface and it's a com driver it's our uh, the classes and relation between this and i use uh, at the regular maximize the window and this is the uh, page to land okay and after that so first as i said i will uh, see uh, you know how many frame we do have so this will be like this 
So first let's run my this. What are you doing? Count how many friends we have. So after we land the page, we'll see uh, driver dot driver dot find elements. We'll use the elements again. It's it will use the elements since it may have more than one frame. Dot by okay tag name. We'll use the tag name by tag name. And then what will be the tag name? We know that's iframe, i iframe, and then we'll use the size method. We'll use the size method, right? So that we know how many frames we do have. Let's print this, okay? Let's print this whole thing so it will print and tell it to tell us how many frames we do have. So After we know how many frames we do have, okay, we have to switch our driver, switch driver to frame using the index number. Okay, this is the comment. So this is our next step. Okay, let's run it, save it, and run it, and see this how many you know frame we do have. It shows. Okay, run it. Okay, let's close it and see what shows in our console. Okay, it shows one, it means uh, we have only one frame, so which is the index, it will be zero. So we'll say driver dot, so we'll driver dot switch switch method and then we'll say frame frame okay what is it will be zero okay zero so which is that the only one uh, the first uh, frame so after we switch up there we have to um, let's go there uh, we have to spy we have to you know a drag and drop this uh, this uh, element from here to here. So let's spy this. So this is the one. Okay. So it has an ID. I can see it has an ID draggable. So we can use this one easily. Okay. We can easily you can use this one. Okay. Copy export. Let's see. Choose export. ID is trackable. Okay, let's use this. And uh, also, I need this one too. So let's inspect this one too. This is okay. ID is uh, droppable. So we can use this ID export, or we can have the bold export. So we can easily use this. So one is drop trackable, another one is this droppable. So we don't need this one anymore. Okay. So next we're going to. So it's uh since uh, we're going to use uh, drag and drop method. So this is the uh, this will be the. Uh, let me show you. We're going to use drag and drop method, uh, which is the part of action class. So this is the next part we're going to do. Create an object for action class due to use drag and drop method. And drag and drop method, this is the syntax of drag and drop method. Let's put the syntax of the drag and drop method. Okay, drag and drop, there are the source and target. So our source would be the first element that will hold it, drag and Will, uh, and the target would be our the next element where will be drop will drop the element so we have both of both of the elements we have already located locator we already have the x path so let's do it so let's create
create an object of action class. We'll say okay, new actions, and then we'll pass the driver, right? And then we'll put in a variable, say uh, a example, and then the return type will be actions, right? So the hover or mouse, input that package for the action class. Okay. Now, for the drag and drop, okay. Uh, let's use the, for this. Uh, we have to we have to you know get the source and target. So let's uh, look at our source driver dot get and try to find the element. Find the element by id we'll use by dot id id so what's our first elements id id it's we know this is the id let's use the id this okay. you can use id or xpath anything so let's use the id okay id so sorry I'll put it down quotation. Okay. And after that, okay, let's put this one, this whole locator, um, in a variable called source. Source. And the return type will be wave element. Return type will be wave element. for the other one would be drop this is the again you can use xpath to so I'm just using you know ID that's fine and then it will be wave element two the return to would be wave element right okay so now I have a uh, source and target so I can use easily use drag and drop this method. So let's use the drag and drop. So I would say, what is the uh, object reference is A for this action class. I would say A dot. Aya, you are mute. Oh, sorry. Uh, A dot drag, drag and drop. Okay, you can see source and element. This is the one. So I have already source and target. And then what I want to do, I wanna. So remember this: uh, when you use that action class, we always have to after we, uh, you know, use any of the method from the action class, we have to at the end we have to build and execute and and perform. We have to call the build method, and also we have to use the perform method to execute that code okay so pretty much uh, that's it we're going to do inside the frame so after we finish our job inside the frame we have to get back uh, uh, our driver to default window so that's what we have to do so how we can you know get back to the HTML default window so this is the one so it means when you finish the job over here drag and drop you know we have to our driver is still inside this frame so we have to give a command or tell our driver hey driver get out from this uh, window icon so it will come back to the regular uh, HTML page over here and do something else so we'll do something else so what means is uh, to confirm that we are out of the box we'll click um, say simple photo manager we'll click here Okay, to 
confirm that if the driver is outside of the box and able to do regular uh, uh, you know other job so let's spy let's spy let's spy this uh, this simple photo manager so head I can click up there okay so this is the one let's copy export and then this is the export okay so I'll click up there after we get off get out from that frame so to, to go back to default window after we done in frame we have to uh, use uh, there is a we have to we have to switch our driver we have to use the switch method to default content there's a default content there's a method so we'll use this one we'll say driver dot switch driver dot switch dot uh, default default content it means it will get out from the frame okay and then let's click on simple manager let's click on simple manager uh, button or link so this is the one to do this we can use this driver to find the element by expert so we just got the expert for the simple ma manager uh, so photo my simple photo manager and then we'll click it there and at the end we'll close the window driver dot close okay looks uh, pretty good let's save it and run it run it show application okay, it's running okay it's landed to the page oh it was very quick so it was very quick uh, but it's it's uh, did the job because you can see it's printed a one uh, it means it's the output of the uh, the frame we, we you know we did over here we said system we printed the how many frame we have so size is one so it was it did complete it okay it did the job so pretty much uh, that's it that's the way we'll hand so I would say when you do the practice, you know, um, uh, don't put the driver dot close right away. You know, just run first time, and so that you can see it's a uh, it's going going to inside the box uh, frame, and then it's dragging the box from one place to another place, so that you can see it. But if you put it the close, so it'll do very fast. It happened very quick, and then it's close the window. But if it's not close, you will see it's it's up there. It's moving the element from one one place to another place inside that and eventually it it's get off the box and it's clicking the another element which is a simple photo manager okay so it's a is that a make sense any question yeah I'm just thinking if there were say more more than one frame say two or three frames um, and how do we find out where in which frame is our element in? Well, if, <clears throat> uh, I mean, say, if first, uh, to, to get how many frames you have, we can use the size method and you will, will easily, at least you can see, you, you print this and you will see that how many you have, more than one or two. More yeah. than one. Say so we got right. three, right? Yeah, so you got a three, right? So now, you, here, let me go to this side. Say you have three. One is here, another two. One here, another one here, right? But you, you, you are right now testing in this place. You haven't gone down, gone further down, right? You haven't gone further down. So up until here, you have already covered all the test cases, all the elements. So uh, you are now right now here. It means here, you know. Uh, you are right now here it means and if you find more than one element more than one frame 
it means this is you know you you confirm that you know before you come here there was no frame you didn't find there is no other frame right so somewhere it will start and you will be stuck up there your frame journey will start from there so that would be your first frame okay and eventually when you move on and you see there is a you you will you have you have to remember that okay i have a more than one frame so definitely down down the part uh, 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 path i have a more frame so eventually when you you know moving forward doing uh, uh you know doing something on one element to another element and you will see sometimes usually if it's not obvious a lot of times it's pretty obvious that it's frame if it's not obvious you know as soon as you element you you know uh, inspect some of the element and if you see that element it's inside a frame the iframe tag it means there this is this the, there is an element uh, you know the frame up there and if you hover your mouse to that uh, you know the, that uh, HTML code it will reflect that you know where that uh, you know the frame is exactly and how you know how long it's so you will be understand okay this is the whole area it's under the iframe so and also you can see you know your all the text would be all that HTML code will be uh, inside the between the iframe tag this is the opening and you can see if you go a little bit down all the elements over here it's part of frame so wherever it start this is your first frame it's moving forward you know and and at the first times you will you, you will use the size method and you will know this how many you have if you have more moving forward you will go down and when you go down you know you will do the regular you will think you will not think about the frame you will just you know spy your element a regular way but you will say it's not finding the element then you know close to that element you will find the frame so the name so it means you will be able to discover your next one second one or or if it's obvious like like this like this box so then this is obvious you can easily you know when you go to the code you will see that so this is a uh, you know it says a frame tag and also there is a, a separate box so that's the way it, it's really comes on experience the more you will work and you will be able to figure out like you know which which one is looks like frame which is not but uh, the two to confirm it get the size and after that go to the related code and make sure that you have a tag the iframe tag then you are uh, good to go is that a, is that okay. make sense yeah got it okay but it's very you know common nowadays is very frame is very common uh, you know scenarios so let's go to our next topic I mean please go through the note you will find the related related topics uh, also uh, uh, details in our notes too so next one is uh, how to handle multi windows in selenium multi windows means and this is obvious this is everywhere so you have a page this is your landing page and after the landing page you have a lots of other page sub page so example you have to you know make sure that it's your uh, it's a your registration form page is working so you click on there you know it's uh, over here it's taking that page within the same tab it's not the you know that's not the multi window multi window would be the child window it means it will be separate tab so example uh, I think in our practice page we should have open tab so example this one if you click on there you'll see it's open a separate window so in automation world it says that whatever the new window open this is treated as a child window so your landing page is your parent window and this is your child window and that's very you know very common scenarios you know it's an application you will always have some lots of you know uh, uh, elements or some things so example this one if you click on there it'll open another page right another page so another page is open so it means it's a separate child window so how we can handle and 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 if this so this since this is this is separate window but this is part of your application so you have to do something some test also in this page how can you do this 
So again, the similar concept. We are we are learning today. We are learning all of the switch case scenarios. Because by default, your driver is landing on your parent HTML code. So to do something on separate play, separate window or child window, you have to tell your driver to switch up there. Okay, to get up there. So in Selenium, to handle the multi-window tax, multi-window testing, okay, you there is a method. It's called get window handles method. So get window handles method. It's help you, you know, uh, to to uh, control or do some testing on your child window. And after you move it, you know, you do whatever you need to do, like something testing any content, anything. And again similar way you have to when you're done you have to tell your driver get back to your default window so default page come back over here and do as it is you know moving forward that and move to the next element okay so that's that's the scenario pretty much uh you know one of the scenarios uh, that's called the uh, uh doing the child window uh stops so there is a you may have a handle one child window you may have a handle four five child window that's you know that's very uh, very common scenario too so how can we do this let me go up there uh, next one is how to handle multi windows in selenium hello everyone oh, that's good. Example, i have a you know open window there's a tab if you click over here you will see there is a new window open it's a complete new window okay so assume that this uh, new window is a part of our uh, uh okay our application so we have to do something in this new window how can we handle this okay let's see so first so here is um i'm in uh, eclipse i create a class it's called multi-window and then I have uh, uh, okay. Let's remove this guy. Okay, and this is oh, this is my main method. Okay, this is my main method, and here is I use a set property method. Uh, this is the key. Uh, uh, this is the key of my driver, and this is the uh, path directory for the Chrome directory exe file, as you know, and then. I use a uh, web driver driver equals new Chrome driver as a uh, you know uh, it's a relationship between our web driver interface and a Chrome driver interface as we know and then I use maximize method to maximize window and here is a get method to launch our site okay so first what are you gonna do we will spy the the tab over here okay here okay so let's you can use this one or you can use open tab okay it's going to tab open a new tab either way we can we can use let's use this one open window inspect it so we have to inspect you know that's uh, this element the window tab element okay and after that we'll click on this button so here is an id i see we are going to use id okay let's so we're going to say driver dot find the element driver dot find the element by dot id let's use the id and what's the id id is open window and then we're going to just click use the click method okay open window oh sorry i put here is the Extra. So I'm going to click on that button, the open window button, and after that, it's supposed to open a new window. Okay, so assume that I have to, I have to. So first, before I open, how about I get a, a let's. Uh, print let's uh, let's uh, print the title of our uh, parent page because this this page is my parent page okay so after I landed let's print my parent page and then click on this button 
and go to our, our uh, you know switch our driver from this parent page to child page and then we'll get it uh, uh, title also from the child window and then we'll come back to our this parent page again and then we'll do something so that uh, you know we can confirm that our driver get back to the parent page say we'll hover our mouse here is a we'll hover our mouse over here in this button okay after we come back to our parent page so that that would be our total exercise so let's here uh, before i click here let's okay let's print it okay let's print a title right i'm going to say uh, sits out sits out say sorry sits out I'd say I would say um, title of the parent page. Title of the parent page. Title of the parent page. Okay. Let's uh, get the title. So driver dot get title right. So this will get the title of the parent page, which is this page, and then click on this button, and then now it's our time to switch uh, switch our uh, to the child window so to to do any activities in child window you know by default by default our driver our is you know the chrome driver our driver is in this this page this is called parent page okay so if when you click on this button it will open a new window so uh, to do anything to do any activity say I, i'm going to get a title from this page so we have to switch we have to tell our driver hey driver switch from your parent window to child window so how the driver will you know understand which is the child window so that time we have to keep some some sort of property some sort of you know unique name or id for this child window you know so that it goes uh, goes to the child window do the job whatever we say and similarly you know we will have to tell switch back to the parent window so that time we have to tell again you know tell the driver uh, uh, how we can identify the parent window we have to you know that's why we have to give a unique name or id something so that we can tell our driver specifically by the id or or, or unique id is that okay uh, as per that unique id go back to parent window so to do this you know to do this kind of activities in a selenium we have a method it's called the get window handles method okay get window handles method let's it's used to handle multi windows activities in selenium so we're going to call get window handles method let's uh, uh let's uh, uh, try to focus over here understand you know here is a little bit something different uh, that we didn't cover even in Java okay this is the part of uh, Java collections you know I will explain also so let's see that so you can understand or not okay uh, call this driver dot get window handle so okay you can see the get window handles method so I'm going to call this method and then just stay with me I will explain you and put this one in a variable so example IDS and then you will see as soon as you put in a variable hover our mouse you can see okay it's saying okay uh, get window handouts and then if you see over here uh, uh, if you hover your mouse to driver that get window handles method it shows something over here it says this is set and then in a bracket it says string and this is the packet you know the the package of this method where is this method right this is the specifically package the org open queue this is the package of that method where this method coming from and this is the type the method the methods return type in a bracket it's a return type it's a string it means whatever this method is expecting to return which is the type the return type would be string and this method it belongs to set object set object set is a part of Java collections so when you have remember the array 
if you remember array like when you do the did the practice error is nothing it's uh you can you know uh it's a collection of multiple similar type of data you can store in a single variable right that was the definition of an array we did like you have a multiple similar type of you have a say 10 integer value you can put all the 10 integer value in an array by using a, and and holding in a single variable or so array it's it was that right but what if you have different type different type of uh, you know uh, data what if you have a different type of data so say just uh, you know think about the same type of data same type of uh, same type of data that's to store the similar type of data we use array so similarly you have a different unique type of data say one one data is uh, integer another one is uh, string or like it's both a string or integer but it's not repeatable like uh, say you have an integer value one but you can't repeat the one so it means each and every all the data type is similar but the value is unique it's not duplicate in array you can have the duplicate value you can have five one you can have a ten one so as uh, you know you have to be same type of data but you can have a duplicate but sometimes if you have a scenario that you you have you you have a sim same type of data but not duplicate element so that time you know java have the res uh, you know the option that it's called set set objects set functions so set is a part of java collections where you it's allow you to store same type of data but not duplicate it's a unique data each and every data will be unique it's not going to be it will not allow to store in a similar uh, uh, same type of uh, same type data but not duplicate so in in uh, in a multi ch child window in, in a multiple you know window when you need to work so you have a parent window on the other hand you have a child window we want you know how we're gonna tell our driver to move you know switch back uh, back and forth the parent window to, to child window or child to uh, a parent if we can give each and every window some specific you know very unique id very unique id if we can give them like parent window there will be some id which is unique not duplicate and the similar a child window if you have one child window doesn't matter how many children each and every window you have some unique id so easily we can pass those id to driver then driver easily will be able to identify what page you are asking to move you are asking to switch either parent page or child page since each and every page will have some unique id you know so to create those unique id get window handles method is help you to create those unique id for your parent or child page as well as all the child window and this method it's it's follow the set function from the java and what is this and set the condition of the set function is that it's uh, allow you to store multiple same type of multiple data but not duplicate so if you have a say one container you put in a one in, in a set function you store you know your parent window in and there will be it will be auto generate a id and and then you put another child window it will auto generate another wind, uh, id but everything will will generate automatically unique id by using the set function so that's why you know uh, we use the set set is like a container okay let's move on and you will see it, uh, more details <coughs> create a variable ideas okay let's uh let's i can say the return time sorry can i just Let's interrupt for one second stream. Mm. um we cannot store this item uh sorry the uh, the window handles that we are going to get in a string uh, variable it will get the string variable whatever the id id will be type of a string a string type okay okay and 
and and uh, you know is uh, selenium uh, they create the selenium developer they create this specific method this get window handles method just for use you know to auto generate those you know unique id to handle the multiple window okay okay so yeah. th this is the easiest way to handle multiple window and that's why they you know the developer the guys who de develop the selenium they this is uh, you know this method they created so that is we don't have to create our own method and function and and create some you know unique id by our own okay okay and it's in set object our mouse okay import set dot app okay let me explain you what i did see here okay let me import the package hover our mouse okay inside the uh, under the set the import a package called java util you can see it, java the package name is java util just remember this part okay what i did here i used the get window handles method in selenium which is you know um, uh, the method it's get the knowledge all the uh, windows is open by the driver including the parent window so get window uh, window handles method get the knowledge all about all the window it's open through the driver so it's a I mean it's a parent window as well as also the child window so I put this one in a IDS driver I mean it's a variable I put this one so IDS now have the knowledge of get window handles method it means all the uh, windows uh, it's open through the driver but here I uh, you can see this it is uh, you know uh, it's a return type it's a string you can see if you hover on you know uh, your mouse to get window handles method you can see it's uh, it's saying uh, there is a string okay it's a return type is a string and it's a uh, also this is a data type okay what is the save uh, the all of the window it's saved in get window handles through the handles method as a string string type data and as well as it's a set it's a set object okay set it's a the type it's it's not this set is not the type uh, data type string is the data type but it's it's a set you can consider as a as a uh, like a container what's really happened let's go here i can see set it means it's like a container so when you use get window handles method it's return it's create a something like a container okay we know we know array right array is a store multiple same type of, type of data similarly there is a set concept in java uh, collection you know it's a, it's a set is an interface and and what it does it's allow you to store multiple data but it's unique data not the duplicate since we we have uh, you know multi multi windows and each and every windows we need a need a unique id so that we can pass those id you know when you ask our driver to switch to switch what will give them an id okay go to that specific id it means a specific window so to create those specific id for, according to each and every window including parent window and child window to to do this okay uh, we are using get window window handles method and that method allow you to store all of the uh, all of the window information all of the window including parent and child window in a uh, container like a set container it's called a set container okay this is you can can, can set right it is store so first would be say example your parent parent this is your parent window and then you see your first child or child okay if you have more than child so it will be so uh, the first child first child okay if you have a more window all well, the second child will become over here okay so so from here okay will you will traverse will use another uh, method is called iterator method or iterator method you know iterator method is to help you to traverse in set in a set container okay so that's the way it is stored so uh, you know to, again it's set 
is a part of Java collection. It's allow you to store multiple unique data, not duplicate data. And that's what we are looking for so that, you know, uh, we can get a unique ID for each and every window. So let's get back to here. So this is, that's why it's a set, okay? You can see if you hover mouse, set is a Java util. So it's a, it's a, the packages, Java util, uh, you know, in, in Java collections. You can, you can read it over here, a collection that contains no duplicate elements, okay? So that's about the set. Okay, so now my ID has the knowledge of the all the windows, uh, right? It's it's pointing to the get window handles method. Now I need to traverse. We need, I need to traverse in this container uh, for the uh, you know so so that I uh, for the parent window I create a uh, I create an ID and give it to the parent window and similarly for the child. So how to traverse? To traverse, we know for array we use a for loop or for each loop, each for loop. So similarly uh, in for the to traverse in set container we can use another method it's called iterator method so we'll call so iterator id uh, so in my ids so now this id its id has you know it's pointing to a uh, get window handle so we're going to call the it iterator method it's called id let's put id you can see here iterator method and then let's put this one also in a variable. So giving him ITR and it's the same. You will see if you hover mouse, you can hover mouse into ITR. You can see it's also stored the string, the type of data is string and also return type. It's, you know, uh, 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 iterator object. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So, uh, string and the return type would be the same type iterator object okay hover mouse and import the, you make sure you import the right package okay import iterator java util okay yes so this is a lot of lot of people that make a mistake over here to import the package and for the iterator method the package is a part of java this is part of java too so java util is a package so you know by mistake a lot of times even when i did at the beginning when i was learning you know i import i think so one of the first or two to you know the uh, package so it didn't work i mean this math is still there was an error so make sure you import the package which is the fourth one like uh, uh, import iterator java.util and and again you know first we we use we we call the get window handles method so that we can use the set object set object is nothing it's a container so we create a container where we we can put all the windows it started from the parent then uh, first child second child all the you know we put in a shell now you know we have to to give the uh, unique to generate auto uh, to generate auto ID for parent window for the child window we have to traverse we have to start my journey okay in this container started from the parent then you know generate some ID and then move to the next one next is the next you know the child window so to traverse this guy to do this one you know we use the iterator method iterator method is a one of the method in Java that job is to traverse somewhere so in, in some container, especially in set container, whenever you use a set container, set object, you know, you have to use the iterator so that you can tra traverse. Iter people always use set to store some unique, you know, data, some unique stuff uh, they put on a container and later on they use that iterator method uh, to traverse, you know, each and every element. It started from the top to and goes to the bottom. Okay, that's the philosophy. You know the people you why they use set and when you use the set you have to use the iterator method i mean you can use for loop over here if you run a for loop then you have to know how many items you have so if you know that you have a four or five window including the you know parent window and then you can you can put that number as your condition that how many times your loop will go and then you move one to another pen so it's iterator method is much easier 
then for loop over here because it's doing the same job but it's uh, they already the people they already created this method so that it works when the people use set uh, uh, you know set object they use the iterator method to traverse uh, you know all of the elements one by one okay the one java ut okay so now what's happened here when it when you create this variable it iterate itr so itr it means this this is the itr itr is pointing to this set container okay so now we're saying okay to go to the next and get the uh, give a value for the parent window to do this we'll say iter itr itr now it's itr is nothing it's all about uh, iterator method so it means iterator object it has a couple of methods you could say uh, has next and next method you can say there's a couple of two this is the most you know useful method from from this object iterator so we're going to use next method next method it means when he, it's this what it does next method is take the iterator pointer it's a uh, to the you know the actual the still the first first element in this set so it means it started it started to the uh, traverse and it goes to the first uh, uh, element uh, in this set so so I, I call I next method and then let's put this one in a variable is called parent ID right and it's return type again string we know Right, because I again, if you hover mouse, you can see, you can see it's also re uh, the return type. It's a return type is a string, so it's a data type would be a string. So, iterator is point to the uh, first is to the set, the set container, and when you say next, it means it goes to the first uh, element, and 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 instead of that for this element, I put the get the element, and I put this element in it. A, a variable is called parent ID and return type is string. So because it's a so when you say itr, I mean whatever your object, your variable dot next. So next method, you know, so first is itr is a point pointer is pointing to the your object. I mean that uh, uh, container. Then when you say when you call the next method, it means you are saying okay, start the traverse. You know, start your journey. So traverse or journey will start always from the top. From the top layer from the top shell which is your your parent ID uh, you know the parent window and it will go up there and automatically generate some ID unique ID and you need to store that ID somewhere that's why I put you know when I call it whatever it generate I put this one in a variable I said you know put this one in a parent ID parent ID it's just to remember it's easy to understand okay this is this method this next method the first element which is our parent uh, window so whatever the id will create it will be placed on parent id this this variable and i know this it's return even though it's id it like could be one two three four but it will be generated under the double quotations because it's next method always return the string type of data so it will convert to a string type of data that's that's why all you have to just put the you know right uh, return type so if parent id this variable is now will now have the knowledge or or is or is holding the value of the unique id whatever is is auto generating by this next method okay so similarly now again if i say next line if i say again itr.next so it will go to the next window it means it will go to the next shell from parent to the whatever the child and it will generate another ID and you put this one and another variable maybe we'll say child child window child ID so child ID variable will get the you know automatically generated ID when not seeing the ID we don't need to see the ID that's fine if you if you print this one you will see it will be print some unique random ID oh sorry uh, the window is open and we uh, which we store in our set container and giving the id so now our driver is on the switch you know it's on the uh, child window so how we can prove that it's 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 switch up there we can't see it so 
unless we do something in this child window. Let's uh, get the you know uh, say title for this uh, uh, for the child window. So this will prove here. Next, we're going to title of the child page. Child page, okay? And it will print, and it will get the title. It will print the title of the child window. So pretty much, I mean, you may do, you need to do a lot of other stuff in child window. This is just in a simple text so that it's proof that it's it's landed to child window and did something. And this is the proof. So let's get back to now. Let's get back to switch back to our parent window because when your job is done in your child window again you have to switch back our our driver to parent window to to move forward with the rest of the testing in parent window right so that time again we're going to use this you know we're going to say driver dot we're going to say driver dot switch to window now this time we're going to pass the parent window id so here we're going to pass the parent window parent ID. So our driver will again switch back to parent window. So how we can confirm that again it's switch back to parent ID? Parent window. Let's do something in our parent window. So what we can do here. Um, okay, we have a tab, we have a uh, you know button it's called the mouse hover so if you hover on mouse if you hover mouse it's open any another two you know uh, drop down static drop down window I mean uh, sorry static drop down option right so button so let's hover our mouse just see this hover our mouse okay so we have to spy this uh, mouse mouse hover or uh, you know mouse hover this uh, uh, button so here is the ID to spy it let's do this we're going to say so hover our mouse okay and we're going to use example we're going to use uh, our mouse our mouse uh, uh, you know we're going to use our mouse so to hover our mouse we move our mouse to just hover to the that is specific window right sorry this is specific button so let's see, use our 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 mouse uh, you know use it to act to perform that work uh, our mouse so uh, that time we know this you know to do any activities through keyboard or mouse we need to use actions class we need to call action class okay so let's so that time we have to create an object our action class actions actions and Who's gonna do the job? Our driver. So and put this object, put this object in a variable. So let's say a, and then return type is the same class names, right? So hover mouse. You can import action class. That's a package. Now, if you now we can say a dot, and there is a move move to element okay move to element it means okay you move your mouse to a specific element so we're going to use this method move to element where we have to pass the address we have to pass you know pass the locator of that uh, that uh, that button so let's spy that we know that uh, I, I have the ID so driver dot find the element by dot ID right ID and then let's pass the, the value of the ID mouse mouse hover okay one two three and then since we use the actions class we know that's the end of the action class after after we uh, you know uh, use any method of the action class end of the you know the perform that we have to use a build and perform method dot build dot format right okay pretty good and uh, and after that we can quit our driver let's before we quit our driver let's you know run this so that we can see it the mouse hover to this mouse uh, you know the there's a button and it's it's uh, shows the static uh, uh, to drop down button right okay 
it's running. Okay, looks like my system is pretty slow. Sorry for that. It's okay, looks like it's invoked a page. Then it's supposed to click on open window button. system is really really slow okay it's loaded the page looks good sorry folks it's okay let's uh, yes let's click on that another uh, the window you can see that's a new window is open the corner box now the driver is supposed to switch back it will get the title from this uh codeinbox.com this window then it's supposed to switch back it's switch back yes and that's why you know it's uh the the parent window comes to the you know the uh the the page it shows okay and the, the mouse hover window it's uh, you know the tab is here the button is here uh for the you know we, we couldn't able to see unless you know we yeah, scroll down you can you know but if we wouldn't find if the driver wouldn't find this element it's supposed to show an error let's see in our console and you can see this is child window is still open because we didn't close any window let's okay let's come here you can see here okay there's a some okay timeout because my system is pretty slow for some reason but it's still you can see this is the title of the parent page this is the title of the parent page and then this is the title of child page this is the coding box okay so the driver really you know it's 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 went to the land to the uh, child window and get this uh coding box you know the the title of the pages and that that's it's returned to the parent window and did this job it this did job otherwise you know it would throw an error that this element not found but it didn't throw an error because of the window you know uh, the we we couldn't see uh, it was a very at the end you know we have to scroll down if we do scroll down we could see this it's moved uh, the mouse uh, it was moved to the hover button or uh, and then it shows that but it it did the job okay pretty much uh, you know that's it but just to remember one thing i added also there is a implicitly wait because my system is pretty slow again that's why i added there is a 5 seconds implicitly wait i hope you know it and one more thing just before we close uh, this tutorial okay we saw this uh, uh, to manage and maintain uh, multi window use multi we use get window handles method but as you know the selenium 4 version alpha version it's already okay uh, so don't worry that for the alpha version uh, so that's about the multi window so you i hope you got to understand you know how to use if you see in our node in our node we have i think similar type of you know similar type of uh, practice that i i did multi window handle so you use uh, the same page and then you we we click on open window and title similar then you know you can see there is a description over here you know why we are going to use get window handles method so right this will return the number of windows this will this get window handles method will return your numbers open window that's opened by your driver and then you know and it's a part of java collection as i said and then it said uh, not allow you to you know store the duplicate elements it means each and every window will have a unique id so that we can we can use the iterator method to traverse each and every uh, window and get that id and put this one in a separate separate different different variable that hold that id and after that we use ask our driver to switch switch to window what window we pass the 
you know the variable so it will move to that window and do whatever you need to do on that page you know then rest of the part it's same if like just another page any element you need to spy you spy that element you click in there and do the job at the end when you are done you're testing on your child window you have to remember that you have to switch back to your parent window so that's it which is the same just that's why we need also parent window id or variable we pass this one so you're back and then do something whatever you need to do in your parent window okay is that a make sense clear Say we have to close the um, child window after doing some operations. How do we do that? You have to what? Close the child window. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Some operations on the yeah, child yeah. Window. You you can you can uh, close your child window. So if you if you use uh, driver dot close after here this one driver before you so whatever say so this is your last line for your child window okay. Here you will use driver dot close close method. So this close, oh, this, yeah. Remember the uh, things I I told in other classes like close method will close only your active page. You are, your driver is now. So when you are still in 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 your child page, if you want to close that window you just use this close method so this method will apply where your driver is located now it's it's working on the live page so that that will you know apply and that will close your child window but if you use quit method that's the difference if you use driver.quit it will close all the window including your parent window okay that's the difference the quit and close close is always close your live will a page where your driver right now okay so you just use the driver or close clear no, no. so that's the thing i i know it's a little bit different idea but you know uh for handles uh, handle your window that's the the main method we're going to use get window handles method and the iterator method to traverse on the set so that's it just simply think about this remember this part and then you know use and uh, you know use the switch so this is all of the activities of switch switch your driver to a large box switch your driver to different windows you know child windows switch your driver uh, what we have we have learned another one frame so all those are different way to switch using the switch method okay so please uh, do the practice if you don't do the practice you know it's, it's gonna be difficult for you later on so uh, today i think i will stop over here you know do this so that you can get a little bit time do the practice and tomorrow we'll start new classes i mean uh, new topics today's topics is all about the switch okay Dri how we can switch your driver for a different perspective and those are the very common i mean window definitely there will be child window tons of child window frame it's a common too right so those are the uh, and and also that's uh, the javascript alert to also common so these are the only three to use the switch case or? yes this is the only three you know uh, so far most familiar we use switch method to switch your driver from pan uh, place to the uh, other places you know if there is an interview most of the time in interview they ask you the question from frame and and multi windows if they use you know they ask uh, they first they ask they can ask you what is the use case of switch method in selenium so you will give this uh, uh, in example to handle your multi multi window to move on in uh, your frame to uh, you know all those things the three and then or if they ask specifically you know, they want to know how you can handle your multi window like you have a child window and how you can you know manage your childhood how you can do something on your child window that time you have to explain that that well we have a in selenium we have a method it's called get window window handles method that will help us to generate some uh, you know unique ID and we can use that uh, iterator method to traverse 
or fetch.id and puts in a variable and we can pass those variable uh, in our switch to win uh, window method and then we'll, our driver will switch up there and we'll do that the uh, that uh, the you know the perform the tax whatever we need to do and at the end don't forget to that tell that part at the end we have to confirm we are switch back to our parent window using the parent id that's all similarly frame they can ask you the how we can manage or do some testing in your frame if you have a frame in your you know uh, 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 in your application similarly you will say the same similar to that we have to use switch method and before we use the switch method we have to confirm how many frame we do have so that you know we can pass the frame number which is following the indexing and uh, so uh, and then our driver will move to that according to that frame and then we'll do the perform you know uh, the regular whatever need to uh, test we do and after that we have to uh, you know make sure that we're get back to our default page or default window right so that's if you explain that part they will understand that you worked and you did the job you know the steps clear anyone question no i'm good thank you okay. thank you okay so great so pretty much that's all you know so and and especially probably you notice that you know back to back in frame also in child window i use uh, you know uh, uh, this actions class so this is another the reason why i use i could use some regular tax you know the regular practice but i use again and again actions class so that you get used to uh, you know uh, get used to uh, how we can use the actions class because action class a lot of times we have to use for your just regular uh, you know the test or automation so it will help you to do more practice regarding the actions class using different methods that you know it's a very famous method move to element and uh, drag and drop or double click context uh, you know context that so those things are you know so you will you will it will help you to do a practice using also action class because a lot of times they ask the questions also regarding how you perform or do any activities or automation uh, for your uh, keyboard and mouse activities all you can see that tell that okay in uh, in selenium there is a selenium api which is called actions class you know actions class and that class have a lots of method like drag and drop move to element and and those methods are using used to do your some uh, automation you know uh, based on your keyboard and and, and uh, mice mice activities so we can call any one of the method use uh, use as per we need that's all they will understand that so you know the class and you know some of the methods okay clear yeah so that's all for today please do the practice do the coding you know and then tomorrow we'll have some new topic okay until then thank you so much and we'll see tomorrow thank you yeah Okay. Bye.